hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i want to talk about something that has affected all of us yes all of us got affected by this so i'll be talking about waiting um we've all have waited in some sort or the other it's either you waited for an important email or you waited for um, a phone call a very important phone call or you waited for a response for the job that you applied for or you waited for a bundle of joy you know maybe you waiting waited to have a child or you're pregnant and you're waiting for the child so we have waited in some sort or the other um, and since we've all experienced waiting um, we know that waiting comes with some sort of emotion you know so you can be waiting anxiously or anxiously I mean or you can wait in fear you can wait um, excited you know bundle of joy excited or still anxious because you never know what's gonna happen or maybe going through a, a, a rough pregnancy you know or you can wait in worry you worried whether they'll respond you worried whether they will come back to you why are they taking so long you know you're waiting in, in joy it's exciting it's happy you know you're waiting for good news um, you know, waiting can be draining or it can be great. So um, in the Bible, actually, I, I wanted to pick up a, a character that I can speak on. But I noticed that a whole lot of characters in the Bible waited. A whole lot of them. Like, you can just think of anyone and pop in your mind and you'll realize that they waited. I mean, Noah. Noah waited for rain. Um, yeah, you can just pick anyone uh, from the top of your head and you'll know that they waited. But today I'm going to talk about just four of the characters in the Bible that uh, had to wait and, and what we can learn from that. And like I said, I'm just going to chat and I hope you enjoy and I hope you get something from this because waiting can be very draining and it can be very exhausting. And I hope this will help you in some sort or the other, you know. I'm going to look at Father of Faith. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons. We know that Abraham waited for a son. And he waited so long that um, they decided to have a child outside that promise that God had made. And uh, after that, God told them, no, that's not the son. The, the, the son I promised you that is coming. And that's when Sarah was, Sarah laughed and said, I'm old, I can't have a child. And, and that's how Isaac came to be. Um, so yeah, sometimes when we wait, we get impatient. Um, we, we want to, while we're waiting, we want to come up with plan B. You know, it can, it can get draining to a point where you get very impatient. And the second person I want to look at is Jacob. I'm sure you're smiling and you're thinking, Jacob. Jacob waited for Rachel. Or Jacob worked for Rachel. <laughs> You know, either one. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob worked. <laughs> so um, Jacob worked for Rachel's father and was promised Rachel after the seven years. And we know that, or if you don't know, Rachel, I mean, Jacob didn't get Rachel after seven years. Jacob got Leah because apparently that was the custom. You can't marry the youngest before the oldest is married and Jacob was like I'm gonna do it seven years again because I want my beautiful Rachel and eventually Jacob got Rachel yay yay so ladies and gentlemen good things are worth waiting for <laughs> okay and if you want that story you can get it in Genesis chapter 29 okay um, Joseph that's the third character I want to talk about so now Joseph waited for a whole lot of things, right? But I'm just going to talk about the dream. Here's a young Joseph. I uh, had a dream and was like, you know, I mean, it's a dream, exciting. And he shares his dream only to end up in prison in a foreign land with a dream, right? So, um, I mean, that, that, that was long. You, you have a dream where the sun, the moon, the stars are bowing down to you. Next thing you are in a foreign land in prison is that even going to happen and we know even uh, at the end the dream came to pass where his family uh, uh, finally got to get to Egypt right so he waited for his dream to 
come to pass and it took years. You know when you read the story of Joseph, which I always emphasize this when I talk about the story of Joseph because that's my favorite story, is that when you read it, you think it's as easy as flipping the, the Bible pages. But it's, it didn't go that quick. It didn't say Joseph was sold, next page. Joseph was in the well, next. It doesn't work that way. It was years and years. Okay, fourth but not, uh, last but not least, Jesus Christ. Interesting. So Jesus waited to, uh, waited his time to get into ministry. He didn't just jump, but he waited for the Father to, to tell him, okay, now it's time to start. I mean, Jesus started ministry at the age of 30. Yes, so he waited. He, he could have started ministry at the age of 17. He could have started at the age of 10, you know, but he waited for the right time that the Father told him. And that was when he was 30 years. Right. So there's uh, characters that we can learn from and how they waited and um, what they got at the end. And at the end of all the stories, we see that God is faithful when you wait on him, when you, when you trust and have confidence in him, God is faithful. But now for the exciting part, I'm going to share what you can do while you're waiting. Because I mean, you don't want to spend all your life being anxious. While waiting, you don't want to spend all your time in worry while waiting. Um, you don't want to spend your time being impatient and checking your emails, keep on refreshing and refreshing your emails while you're waiting. So I'm going to share a few things that you can do while you're waiting. The first one, which uh, there's a song, it says, um, well, the first one is worship. While you're waiting, worship God. You know, there's a song that says, while I'm waiting, I will praise you while I'm waiting. <clears throat> Watch out, idols. I am not coming. <laughs> yeah, so um, wait while you're waiting. Worship God, you know. Um, spend time in his word. Spend time in prayer. Pray for people, you know. Another thing, number two, what you can do while you're waiting. So the first one, worship, worship, worship. Second one, keep busy. Keep busy. Don't just wait and be idle, but be busy, do something. Uh, read a book, start drawing, you know, uh, do something, learn a new skill. There's a whole lot of things that you can do while you're waiting. Uh, phone someone, you know, just keep busy. And the third one is stay focused. It can be, um, it, it can be draining to wait and you keep, you know, you're trying to concentrate on something, but you keep losing focus because your mind is on on that email or on that response that you're waiting on the exam results that you're waiting for but don't uh, don't lose a focus stay focused and um, like go back to the second one keep busy stay focused and keep busy fourth one talk to people call email joke around have fun wait in fun you know um, and the last but not least relax relax um i mean you 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 did what needs to be done just wait on the lord uh you know there's there's a video i did which i don't think we've posted but it's it talks about let god be god you have done what was supposed to be done wait for god to do the rest you know so relax you know just go to a spa if you have that kind of luxury or Take a long bath or exercise, uh, cook, try a new recipe, you know. So number one, worship. Number two, keep busy. Be busy, 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 like a bee. Uh, stay focused. Number four, talk to people. Number five, relax, relax, relax and have fun. I mean, waiting, it can be, I mean, I've waited for so many things. And I've realized that when I wait and watch the clock, it, it's draining. But when I wait and I keep busy, I, I read a book, I, I play puzzles, I phone my sisters, I talk to people, then the waiting just goes. You know, there's, um, you know when, when we were younger and you're going for a trip uh, tomorrow, let's say tomorrow you're going for a school trip, uh, trip and you're excited about it they will tell you at home sleep so that tomorrow can come quickly you know they'll tell you to you know uh, go go to bed early so tomorrow can come quickly I still tell my child that 
every time when I'm trying to make him sleep and he's, he's not wanting to sleep, I'm like, sleep so tomorrow we can have some chocolate cake, you know? So yeah, relax so that the waiting can not feel very draining. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful because I, I waited for something recently and uh, in the waiting I decided to find something to do and it it got my mind off that waiting it got my mind from that and it, it helped me a lot so I hope this is helpful and if you've got other ideas that we can do while we're waiting do comment and yeah please do subscribe Stacy Kaunda do subscribe ne? I'm watching you